I saw the film. Um, I have never left a horror film feeling so much joy, and I laughed so much. Oh, thank you. Tell me. That means so much. You tell, felt joy seeing felt, this movie. I felt absolute joy from start oh, to finish. That's wonderful. Tell that's me, wonderful. how did this project come together? Uh, it started out as a novel called Eat Brains Love by Jeff Hart. Um, and then Gunpowder and Sky, the financiers, uh, developed it uh, with two writers, Mike Hero and Dave Strauss. Then I came on to direct it, and I uh, gave it my own flender touch, for better or worse, my own you know kind of bizarre sensibility. And uh, now you now you can see it. Here it is. It's very simple. I mean, your three leads are excellent. Um, I mean, Jake in particular shows a different side to maybe what people have seen before. What were the three of them like to work with and direct? Okay, the film was very challenging to direct. It was a very short schedule. We didn't have a lot of money, but the cast made it a dream. They were fantastic to work with. I think they got my weird sensibility. You know, I kind of told them uh, I, I wanted this to look like a movie that Herschel Gordon Lewis might have made for Nickelodeon, and they figured out what that meant. <laughs> Because um, it's a, it's a, you know, it's kind of a weird, weird reference. But they were terrific. They just, just, you know, we had very little rehearsal time. But their chemistry is what you see on screen. One of the things that I love so much is that it's so gory in parts, but the humor is always there. I the mean, what? the humor is always there. It's always yeah. present. It's always making you laugh. Right. And I felt very sympathetic towards the main characters. I mean. How did you frame that in such a way that the audience would relate to them rather than their victims? Well, that was, I, again, I, that is from the book. And that is, I mean, one, one of the, you know, in, 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 in adapting the book into a film, one of the things we had to do is kind of bring it down in scale. Because the book is huge. The scale and scope of the book has these massive, almost like Lord of the Rings, like battle scenes. But the relationship between Jake uh, and Amanda and Cass is the same. And I thought, it doesn't matter what the budget of the movie is, if I have the right cast and can maintain that relationship between those three, then it will work. Because that's what, that's what worked for me and that's what was special about the book. We don't need more you know, huge CGI in few massive battle scenes with thousands of extras. You know, a, a, a strange love triangle between two zombies and a psychic is something I was new to me. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it in my life, and that's why I loved it so much. It was so refreshing. Yeah, well, spread the word. If you really liked it, please, you know, tweet about it, Instagram about it, whatever, you know, social media you use. Well, our review's already out. What's that? The review's already out. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's fast. That's, uh... I guess, the, I guess people are reviewing it as they watch it, right? Yeah. So, so what should I do? Should I hide and, and, uh, oh, and no, no, crawl under very, the bed, or what? It's a very good review. Oh, good. So my last question then for you, we're at Horror Film Festival. Um, what would you say has been the most influential horror film on you? Wow, I mean, I, that, that, it, there really is no one because it's, it's you know, it's horror film and, and film in general. I mean, it's, uh, I, I guess if you're gonna just break it down within genre, I think seeing Night of the Living Dead, George Romero's original on TV as a kid, very influential on me, but also Roger Corman's original Little Shop of Horrors. That uh, blew my mind, that, combina that weird combination of horror and comedy, and the fact that the hero of that film, spoiler alert, the hero of that film gets eaten by the plant. Like, when I, I saw that as a kid, and I was like, that's not supposed to happen in a movie. The hero is supposed to win. Like, what? And so that, seeing Little Shop of Horrors, that kind of broke the rules, or what I thought were the rules one was supposed to follow for, for heroes and, and, and story arcs and that kind of thing. So those were big influences on me. Well, congratulations on the film. Thank I think so it's a much. wonderful film. Thank um, you. And as I say, it brought me a lot of joy, so thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks okay. for your kind words. I appreciate it. Yes, spread the word.